first of all i would like to congratulate for your uh, pew results which was announced i guess one week before one week or two weeks before congratulations for it so now within a day or two you will be having your case at examinations so the dates were announced recently 18th and 19th you will be having case at examinations that is biology and mathematics on 18th and uh, physics and chemistry on 19th so i would like to give you few important tips that you can follow either during the exam or before the exam so that your kct exam will go on smoothly without any interruption so firstly this exam is of time management you will be given 60 minutes out of which you will have to answer 60 questions so this is not a cbt mode that is computer based test you will have to mark in the omr sheet so firstly they will provide you omr sheet where you will you will have to fill up your basic details that is name application number and might be the subject code you are writing and after that you will be given a booklet which will contain 60 questions and there will be no extra sheets given for calculation you will have to perform all the calculations inside the booklet itself you will be allowed to carry the booklet to your home you will have to attempt 60 questions within 60 minutes attempt in the sense you will have to read the question get the answer and mark them in the omr sheet all this you have to do within 60 minutes so you will have to be very quick very quick you will have to read the questions it will be like you will have to just thoroughly read the question and just mark keep marking the answers once the answers mark cannot be changed so you need to be very very careful like i said it is not a cbt mode so you cannot unmark the questions that you have marked already so be very careful while marking the questions also check whether you are marking the right questions there may be chance that you have got option a for question number 11 and you are marking it for question number 12 so you cannot do such mistakes so next one is you will have to make use of the short notes you have made previously so short notes in the sense it should contain basic formulas related to each chapters like it can be the matrix multiplication formula like you can use basic simple example of 2 cross 2 matrix how to multiply them it will be useful in the exam you can use short notes for majorly for physics and chemistry for remembering few important points of a particular topic might be from p block elements or organic chemistry you will be having various kinds of question in the exam so short notes are important for you to revise just before the exam so for uh, the first exam you will be writing if you have chosen like pcm where you will be writing the first exam mathematics you can revise it in the home itself but for the second exam like you will be having physics first and chemistry next after physics exam you will be given 3 hours gap where you can use these short notes to revise and recollect what you have learnt in these 2 years so carry proper documents to the examination center it is better that you carry a color xerox of all the documents like uh, you are allowed to carry hall ticket of the kct examination it is better that you wear college id card and be in college uniform so that you can be easily recognized i guess your college might have notified you at the earliest that you will be you will have to appear in the exam with college dress and uh, college id card so it is better to follow that so next is about examination center this is one of the important things that you need to take care of before appearing for the exam because you need to check the environment of the examination center 
environment in the sense it includes parking place a proper parking place for your vehicles because if you are because if the examination center is far off from your home then you will have to use a proper means of vehicle to travel either it can be car or scooter bike you need to have a proper parking place it is better to accompany with your parents rather than traveling alone you need to also check for food that is available near the examination center it can be any hotels or food stalls that are available it is better to carry lunch from home itself instead of going for food stalls or hotels since only two days are remaining for the exam it is better that you don't experiment on new things so don't try to learn new things in shortcut methods because they might give you 50% of knowledge and you end up making the question wrong so use the short notes that you have used for pu exams as well since you have prepared for pu exams revising the same chapters will be easy for you for the kct exam so it is better that you rev- revise all the known concepts in the particular subjects don't stress on particular thing and don't go in depth about a particular topic it is better that you revise basics of all the all the concepts in kct in 60 seconds you have to go through each and every question so if you know the basics and core concepts properly you can crack the exam so since i was into the gate series making of gate series and solving aptitude problems i was not able to pay focus on ct i recently came to know that the notification was out and the examination schedules and uh, admission tickets were out so i thought of making this video so that it will be kind of helpful to the students who really need it yeah, sorry for coming up this late so finally i would like to say that KCT is an entrance exam to your engineering colleges if not KCT there is an another exam called Comet K fees will be high but you will get a college out of it yes if you are unable to pay fees then you have to focus bit more on KCT exam you will get colleges out of it stay calm and focused you know keep revising your short notes that's it keep practicing